I do not care how what someone has done in their past, how many past mistakes or failures, how many things we regret or on and on. There, There is nothing that someone could have done or could ever do or how many successes they've had that changes the fact that every person listening to us right now, exactly as they are, is fully worthy. Gabrielle Bernstein, a role model for spiritual seekers. Genuine self-confidence comes when you have grounded yourself in mm. self-worth. Mm -hmm. When mm -hmm. real self-worth yes. is self-confidence, mm -hmm. right? Genuine self-confidence. Genuine, yeah. Because yeah, you can be confident, oh, I can do that thing, or I can make that happen. but. When you're in that knowing, as you described it, yes. I am worthy. Yes. That is a energetic confidence that just emanates off of you naturally. It's just a natural effect of your yeah. worthiness. Yeah. yeah. And you feel so much more just like in alignment with your assignment in life. Like Alignment, alignment yeah. with your assignment. Right? Nice like you, one. Like you step into who you are. Yes. And you, you're just more exactly you. And yeah, and every time we show up inauthentically, A, it's impossible to have a, a real connection with another human being, whether it's a friend or a partner mm. or a customer or followers on social media. But B, every time we show up as the mask we think people want us to be, we're literally telling ourselves that we are unworthy of being who we are, that we are not as, enough as who we are. And so um, exactly what you said, yeah. There's also, I'll speak for myself, but while I have always believed I was worthy of what I was creating and worthy, I've, I think I was kind of born with this sensation of I'm worthy of doing the things I'm called to do. Mm. Some of that has developed with my spiritual connection, but I didn't enjoy the journey of it for so many years because I didn't believe I was worthy of support. Mm. So yes. I was by myself in it. Yes. I was on my own in it. Yes. So it's not always necessarily about what we're creating, it's how we're creating. Yeah. and how we're showing up and how we're enjoying our life. Yeah. And so believing we're worthy of the support of others or believing we're worthy of the love of others, yes. it's all core beliefs that can carry on. And exactly what you said is we can be believe we're worthy in some areas. Yep, and, that's right, and, that's and, right. And, and not in others, right? I, And I did not know the difference I didn't know why believing you're worthy was important until literally just a couple years ago. I, I had you know worked so hard building it cosmetics from my living room, and all this stuff was happening. And uh, at the peak of my self confidence, at the peak of believing I was worthy of all this success in business, I was still sabotaging things in friendship that mm -hmm. I didn't feel I was worthy of. I know um, this might be a fun story to share with everyone um, listening who knows you've been on Oprah, all the things, right? And uh, I don't know if you had this experience, but when I was a little girl, I used to watch her yeah. in my living room every yeah. day. And I remember just, you know, she's why I, I went into journalism. And I thought, one day I'm going to share other people's stories yeah. with the world. Yep. And I dreamed my whole life of meeting her. Now, fast forward 39 years. I had sold it cosmetics. I like was the most confident I've ever been in my life, right? On the Forbes list, all this stuff was great. And I meet her, my lifelong dream happened. I met her, <laughs> she invited me to lunch. This is such a wild story because for, this is for every person listening who has ever sabotaged something yeah. or whoever is like, wait a minute, what has my self doubt already cost me yeah. in my life? Okay. And like, you're ready to change that? I thought Gabby I was and I was really confident and I was crushing it in business and uh, all those things that the world tells me oh wow you know great job I meet Oprah uh, I'm 39 years old she invites me to lunch I can't even believe this is happening right it's my lifelong dream go to her house we have a three-hour lunch at the end of that three-hour lunch and I and it was great it was like and I'm normally introverted I was talking the whole time yeah. like it was great. at the very end of it she gives me her cell phone number and she says uh call me anytime you can call me anytime and from that moment I did not call her for four years mm -hmm. for four years mm -hmm. and in that journey that four-year window I would tell myself like oh I'm just waiting for the right thing to say or everyone probably wants something from her I'm gonna prove I don't need anything like I told myself these stories and then one day it hit me the real reason why I hadn't called her in four years was because deep down inside, I did not believe I was worthy of being her friend. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And yeah. it goes to that emotional part you're talking mm -hmm. about. I didn't think I was worthy of someone else showing up for me or of me being. And I just was like of me having just like 
friendships like that. Yeah, and yeah. and I sabotaged it. Yeah. And that was the day I picked up the phone and called her. And because our self-doubt lives in our mind, it is not who we are. And our knowing, our truth, our full essence of who we are, our worthiness lives in our soul.